been all of the mess today. Um, I'm at Phil Campbell, at Phil Campbell on Twitter. Um, a box arrived, which I've been waiting for for a while, with the Drop Cam HD. And I've been pretty excited to uh, get my hands on these because they're standalone streaming cameras. Usual kind of webcams in terms of um, audio and reasonably good quality. They say they're HD, but they're, they're not streaming in HD. They're, the physical size of the image is HD size, I would have thought. 1280 by 720, I think, is where they're really going at with that. Uh, like it says on the front of the box, let me just flip to the other screen. Um, it is uh, easy setup, watch online in 60 seconds, which is absolutely true. Although I didn't see the... Um, didn't see the camera pop up in the public display of cameras. Maybe that's something else that needs to be authorized and done. But super easy to set up. I literally uh, plugged it into my computer, set the Wi-Fi network, told me to unplug it. I plugged it into a uh, a plug for USB plug, which I'll get onto in a minute because this comes with an American plug and it's up and running. So if you do a search, if you download the uh, software Dropcam, it's free from the App Store and do a search for Seller 54, you should see it. There is no audio on the stream because obviously we talk about client stuff occasionally. And um, yeah, so it's at times we'll, we'll probably change the audio thing as well. So easy setup, watch online in 60 seconds, event alerts, which is really nice actually. Stay up to date via phone or email. You get push notifications when there's motion censored. Uh, night vision, keep an eye on things even in the dark. Talk back, hear and re respond with two-way audio, which is really, really cool. I love the idea that you can um, somebody can talk from the app to the studio. It's going to be a little bit freaky, and I can imagine Dan and a few others like going Ooh, at a certain time of night. Uh, also, 24-7 recording, save your HD video for peace of mind, which is a really powerful feature, like a DVR feature of recording um, uh, motion in the studio, but also you can save those clips for later. So you could sort of mash those up and sort of do time lapses and stuff with it. Anyway, let's uh, quickly get into the box. We're not going to spend too much on the whole unboxing thing because it's really super easy. I just want to show you the ins and outs of it. You get a simple card which tells you to... Uh, where am I going? We're there. Simple card tells you how to plug it in and on what to do. Um, the only thing about international is that you can't order this yet through their site because they don't do international shipping or, or deal with international cards. So I had to get a friend to order this and then sort of ferry it on to me. And because of that, you get things like this, which is the US plug adapter. Now, thankfully, it's all USB based. So this is a uh, output five volts at two amps. So you need a a, red, a Raspberry Pi um, charger like this would do it. This one is not that powerful. This one's uh, zero, one amp. This is one amp output. So that wouldn't really power it, but I do have one. Now I'm getting a little message saying motion detected. So it's obviously picked me up in the corner. Um, so I've had to replace that bit. I've had to replace that bit with uh, a UK one, but it's micro USB, so you plug it in and go. And literally, the uh, unit is super small. This, there's a holder thing, a metal thing for it to go in, but the camera is just that. That is all it is. Very, very neat and tidy sort of package. Very small. Um, I don't know if you can see that because it's focused on me and doesn't do the autofocus on this and it's got like a little micro USB at the bottom um, really nicely well built it feels very solid this is a uh, number on the back drop cam 3-HD so I presume the third version of it and then some screws and a USB cable and all that but the most important thing about this is it does what a webcam should do without all the hassle of messing around with setting up and connections it literally just found my wireless network and just dealt with it uh, to the port forwarding and all of that stuff that you would normally have to deal with and obviously you'd, you'd have a computer normally running all the time to do this and this is going to be a lot smaller power usage to use so I'm thinking that maybe one of these in the caravan for instance over my wireless network um, via cellular should work pretty well it won't be the fastest frame rate, frame rate in the world but uh, I think there's Wi-Fi on the actual site as well but you can extrapolate that whole idea. You can use this in pop-up kitchens. You literally just rock up with this, get on the wireless network, drop the camera in there, and you're streaming. You do two-way talkback. So if you're teaching somebody how to do something, maybe play a guitar or play a keyboard or, or, or teach them to cook, it's ideal for that. So that's it, really. I just wanted to quickly show you. We've got two running in the uh, studio. The uh, Dropcam HD. 
and uh, you can get them from dropcam.com. Download the app from the App Store free of charge. I think you can also do it on Android. It says watch on Android as well. Um, yeah, really, really cool. Look out for Solar 54 on there. Cameras 1 and 2. We've also got one in the reception at Lace Market House, at Lace Market House on Twitter. I will catch up with you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the Google community. If you know somebody who's into techie, geeky stuff in the UK, get them to uh, subscribe as well, add them in. I'd really like to get that group up to a couple of hundred, 250 by March time. That's it. Catch up with you soon. Bye.